हेलो फ्रेंड्स बिकम एग्री बिजनेस एंड क्वालिटी एक्सपर्ट इन हंड्रेड डेज एज यू आर अवेयर दैट माई दिस सीरीज गोइंग ऑन सिंस लास्ट वन वीक टू डे इज एट्थ एपिसोड अंडर दिस सीरीज आई एम आंसरिंग वन क्वेश्चन एवरी डे इट इज ए टेक्निकल क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू फ्रेश प्रोड्यूस बिजनेस रिलेटेड क्वालिटी एंड ऑल द एग्री स्टूडेंट्स एंड प्रोफेशनल्स हु विल वॉच माई वीडियो आर गोइंग टू बेनिफिट आउट ऑफ दिस फ्रेंड्स आई एम अरुण मेहता एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई यूट्यूब चैनल अरुण मेहता क्वालिटी टॉक so my today's question is what is shielding injury heat injury and freezing injury friends these three type of injury are very common and because of these injuries lot of fruits and vegetables are become bad and is spoiled so why these injuries are happening and how you can protect them to avoid the losses so this question i am going to cover today so first i will tell you what is chilling injury friends chilling injury is a injury which happened to the fruits and vegetable when the temperature where it is stored is less than the desired temperature for example citrus fruits you have to store at 7 degree centigrade temperature but if you store them at 2 degree chilling injury can happen <coughs> brinjal you have to store at 7 8 degree if we store brinjal at low temperature 2 3 degree the brown patches can come it's a chilling injury so all fruits and vegetable for long term storage they have a certain temperature in which they have to store if the temperature goes below that chilling injury happen i will give you one example also during winter season when in the north area northern area temperature reduced to 2 degree 3 degree 4 degree temperature and that banana is coming from the southern belt from the maharashtra where temperature is high so when consignments are coming and consignment enter in the north zone such suddenly the temperature uh, they have to face low temperature from 20 degree 25 30 degree they are coming in contact of 2 degree 3 degree so chilling injury happened to the banana so that chilling injury when chilling injury happened to the banana where you will ripen that banana you will not get the <coughs> proper color bright color there will be dullness on the color that's symptom of chilling injury so chilling injury happened when you store any fruit and vegetable below it desired temperature now heat injury heat injury happened when some product is directly affected with the sunlight because in the summer season this type of injury is very common we have seen this injury in tomatoes we have seen in pomegranate we have seen in onion we have seen in capsicum in many fruits we have seen this injury when on particular fruit or vegetable direct sunlight comes so in that area some discoloration happen in that area some hard patch will develop that area will turn harder tissue will get damage so it is happened because of heat injury so to protect the heat injury 
you have to see the certain fruits you have to put some shed shed net you have to put if possible to protect the direct sunlight or uh, other other than this uh, it's a natural things you cannot protect 100% some produce is going to damage by heat injury but if possible by putting shed nets it can be avoided now freezing injury <laughs> freezing injury is happen when you store some produce below 0 degree centigrade temperature like apple is stored at 0 degree cherry is stored at 0 degree many fruits pear stored in 0 degree so when temperature goes less than 0 degree become minus 1 or 2 minus 3 to freezing injury happen <coughs> when freezing injury happen the product inside the structure got damage and when you remove the product from the cold store you will find clear cut damage to the product so these terms are very commonly used chilling injury heat injury and freezing injury in the fruits and vegetable business so these are all the technical terms i hope uh, you have learned something new today so if you have any question you can write in the comment box i hope you understood well tomorrow i will bring one another question till then namaskar thanks for watching my video thank you